my name is Matt Miller. As most of you know, I um, was on a, a reality TV show for the biggest weight loss show in uh, in the world. And that said, you know, I, I was an obese kid. One of the stories that really stood out is I was an obese kid. And when I was 11 years old, I weighed 205 pounds. I was in the fifth grade. And, uh, you know, it wasn't wasn't very much fun to, to be that overweight kid that everyone looked at and stared at, you know. It was a very embarrassing time in my life. Uh, you know, I was like, why am I so overweight and so heavy? And I had brothers that were in great shape. They, like, they could eat anything, they could do anything, and they stayed in, in fantastic shape. And here I was, weighed 205 pounds in the fifth grade. And I was uh, 11 years old at the time. I couldn't really you know, do all the things that my brothers were able to do sometimes. Like I was, I try to keep up with them, but I couldn't really do it. And so it was very, very embarrassing. I used to get made fun of a lot as a kid because I was overweight and I was fat as a kid. And it was, it finally, you know, stirred up enough in me that in the fifth grade that there's an event that happened and I was playing, you know, tag football during play, uh, during when we we're out at the playground. And I remember it was one of those moments where my shirt just got taken off. It wasn't, I guess, to some people, it wouldn't seem like a huge deal. But for me, when my shirt got yanked off and we're playing football, all my friends were like laughing at me and making fun of me because I was fat and um, looked really bad. And so it was it impact. It impacted me so much at that time that I remember thinking in my head, you know, I need to do something to change my life, to better my life. Really, when you're a kid, you don't know why you're that way. It's just there's no one really educating you that way. And you just kind of take it to, it's like, oh, man, I'm big boned. And this is just the way it is. But that's not the case. And there's things that you can do to change and better yourself, no matter where you're at in any walk of your life. And I learned that at a very early age. At that time, I started like trying to figure out what I needed to do to get in better shape. I didn't have anyone there to really guide me along the way. So I was getting books and magazines and I'd start reading up on it and trying to figure out, you know, what, what I needed to do to improve myself with my health. By the time I was uh, in high school, I was in, in phenomenal shape. I had the six pack abs. Uh, I was able to, you know, do pretty much anything and everything that I wanted to do. And I became this really good athlete. Uh, I had different scholarship offers to some Division One schools for both football and wrestling, but I, uh, I decided to kind of steer away from that because I already had these injuries that were occurring and wasn't really sure what I was going to do with my life. And then I decided to, uh, you know, I really liked, enjoyed acting. I was doing some acting with my brother. He um, had been in some different commercials, did some different plays himself, was in, in um, you know, some different independent films at the time. And so I was like, you know, I'm going to give that a shot. And so I went to this agency, and they ended up liking me, but they wanted me to come in and meet one of their clients for a modeling gig. And I was like, okay, I'll come back in. Came back in the next day, met with this, uh, this group that was looking at me. It was for a Western wear company. And uh, they said, hey, we really like your look. We'd love for you to model for us in, in this uh, catalog that we're doing. I'm like, all right. Um, when I first started that, I was like 225 at roughly 5 or 6% body fat. And I kept on getting smaller and smaller to be able to fit the role that they wanted me to fit and got down to where I was doing fashion modeling. Um, got down to about 180 to 170 pounds was probably the peak of my lowest weight. And I traveled doing modeling, was with different agencies, won some different awards. One of the awards I, I won was uh, overall male fashion model of the year. Had some different things that were, were going good for me in that industry. But I, uh, I honestly was starting to get burned out, so I ended up moving from that, transitioning over into doing some traditional business. I stopped working out as much. I stopped doing the things that I was doing. Um, and then later on, I ended up having this ski accident. I was probably still in decent shape, was probably around 240. Got up back up to about 240 pounds, 245 pounds around this time. But I was snow skiing with some friends of mine in Utah, and uh, one of my business partners actually um, at the time, and I ended up having this ski accident where I went off the cliff and I messed up my back really bad. I fell off the cliff and, and kind of broke and ruptured some discs in my lower spine. And it was around that time that um, I started to gain weight. And it wasn't like I was gaining a bunch at once. I'd gain 10 to 20 pounds a year, 30 pounds a year. But I was just like, you know, once I hit 250 pounds, I'm going to go on an extreme diet and cut back down. 
I'd hit 250 and I'd find an excuse why that was okay. And I was like, okay, when I hit 275, I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to start dieting really well and cutting down. And I got down, I got up to 275. I was like, you know, I don't look too bad at 275. It's okay. And then I was like, if I ever hit 300, I'll never go over 300 pounds. And so I hit 300 pounds and I was like, well, I'm not too bad at 300. I, I carry it pretty well. And then the next thing I know, it's like 325, 350, 375. And at my peak weight, I actually weighed about 405 to 408 pounds. And then it was, that was in the December of 2013. And I was like, man, I got to make changes because like my health is deteriorating too fast. I'm not able to do things that I used to be able to do. My back pain is hurting so bad that now I'm having to walk around with a cane just to even be able to move around. So it got so bad that when I'd go on these airplane trips uh, and get on planes that um, I didn't even like to do them because I could hardly fit into the aisles. I could hardly fit into the seats. For someone that's 6'2", 6'3", it's already kind of cramped when you're going on these airplanes. But being at that height plus you're weighing 400 plus pounds, um, it makes it extremely uncomfortable. In fact, there are some cases where I'd sit in a seat and I couldn't help that I was so big that... I'd be pushed over and I'd be like, part of my body would be over on this um, passenger that's like next to me. And one of them happened to be this lady, in fact. And she like looked at me and she said, you know, I paid for my own seat. And I'm like, yeah, I, I understand. I, I did too. I paid for mine. She's like, well, maybe you should go on a diet and lose some weight. Like she was extremely mean to me, but she was correct. She was right. I really needed to make some changes in my life. But it's just... The people looked at me so differently from where I used to be when I used to be a model to where I'm at now. It's like you can see the changes. People are really nice to me and they're more helpful and I was in this great shape. But then I was like back to being this overweight adult, not kid. And people treat you totally different when you're overweight versus when you're in shape. And so I started to try to diet, started doing some of the EPX body products around that time. Got down to about 385, 386. Never did I think in my entire life I'd go on that show as an actual contestant. I'm thinking trainer, it'd be awesome, but contestant, never, never in my life. And here I am, big enough to be a part of this show. And I go try out, and to, you know, I guess my surprise, they end up liking me, and they did choose me. Like, I went through this entire process, but they end up choosing me to be a part of that cast. And for me, when I was on the show, I did an amazing job on losing weight. Um, but then I kind of hit a plateau when I was at 320 pounds. I, I left the show around 315, got home, ate what I wanted to do, ate what I wanted to eat, did what I wanted to do. It was about 321, 322 when I got home. And, uh, from that point forward for the next two to three months that I was home, I, uh, I only got down to about 300 pounds. I couldn't break that plateau. Like I'd get down to 300. I remember I was in Dominican Republic. It was around... Uh, the end of, uh, end of, I think it was the end of November, right before Thanksgiving. So I'm in the Dominican Republic talking to Dan and I've just hit this plateau. I can't get over dropping the weight. I keep fluctuating between 300 and 322 pounds. Thinking when I was in the Dominican, I was down to like maybe 295, but I was fluctuating from 295 back up to about 310 at that time. And it was just like, it was so depressing. I was like, man, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And Dan's like, listen, you're about 60 days out from finale and you really like from the, this biggest reality TV show finale, he's like, you really need to, to do something to, you know, go to that next level. And I know you've been trying not to use our products, but I'd at least recommend doing the detox tea mat because it sounds like to me that your body's probably toxic right now. And that's why it's holding on to all these different things, everything that you're, you are ingesting, which isn't much. I was like, you know, you're right. I've been thinking about doing the detox tea for quite a while. And, um, you know, I just I haven't done it. He said, well, as soon as we get back from the Dominican Republic, I'd recommend doing it. And I was like, okay. So as soon as I get back from the Dominican Republic, it's the end of November, literally approximately 60 days out from the finale of this show, um, I go ahead and do the detox tea. And it was, as soon as I did that, like, my body started feeling better after the first day. Um, my body exerted a bunch of stuff out of it, and I don't know if I picked up something when I was in the Dominican Republic or when I did, but at some point I picked up what you see um, in the body as parasites. 
this is gross to talk about, and I don't. It's very personable, so can't hold anything against me. Anyone that's watching this, but I remember I was sitting on the toilet. And I remember feeling like, man, that's like really something's coming out of my body. It's like really stringy and really long, and I was just like, I remember thinking that's really weird feeling. And I get off of the toilet and and look down, and there's these long stringy worms that are down in the toilet. I'm like, oh my gosh, and there's like, I have bloody stool all, all across there. Like there's like all kinds of blood around it. And I was just thinking, man, my body just flushed all these out. Now I'm starting to feel better. I feel like my body's absorbing all the food that I'm eating better, all the nutrients better. I'm able to breathe better. And it's like these parasites were eating all my nutrients, everything that I was ingesting. It was, keep, it was eating all the good parts, leaving all the crap left over and leaving my body in a, this toxic environment. And so once I actually did the detox tea, it was like my body got cleansed from the inside out, cleansed all those um, foreign organisms out, and then my body was able to assimilate everything more efficiently. I felt better. I could breathe better. I could do things better. My endurance increased. Like it was just like having a whole new outlook on, on life. And then on, on top of that, my body started dropping between one and one and a half pounds of, of weight per day right after I got it, it detoxed. And I continue to drink that detox tea after that. I mean, I was a, I'm a firm believer in it. And there's not one person that could ever argue with me that <laughs> detox tea doesn't work. And I continue to drink it to this day. And even after it's done, after I've done, I'm done drinking it, I dry out the herbs and I'll, I'll add the herbs to my food and different things that I eat because you can't taste it very much. But I just, I'm a, a strong believer in that herb blend and the detox tea. And so it was from the end of November to uh, January, I lost approximately 85 pounds. I went from approximately 300 pounds to about 214.6 to 214.8 pounds. But I, I did, I dropped about 85 pounds in a 60 day period of time and it, it was amazing. Um, and the main thing that I changed in that entire time period was just the detox tea. I mean, the detox tea really was my silver bullet. It's the thing that made the big change for me from getting this plateau that I couldn't get over because I'd already lost quite a bit of weight down to the 300, 320 pounds. But that 300 to 320, it, it was so hard to drop from 300, 320 down to 300. That, that last 85 pounds was like, I dropped it with ease whenever I brought that detox tea into my daily regimen. So strong believer, I, I know that it, it cleanses the body. It definitely gets rid of parasites because I definitely got rid of parasites out of my system and my body definitely made a, a big difference and then huge changes when I got that out of my system and got it, got it detoxed properly. And it's, uh, it's definitely a part of my daily regimen no matter what from this point forward because I will never have that in my system ever again. It was the grossest, um, most eye-opening moment of my entire life, just looking down in the stool, and there's these, you know, long worm parasite creatures in this bloody stool there in the toilet, and I don't ever want to uh, relive that again. Some of them were moving still. Like, some of, the, some of the parasites were still, like, able to move. Like, you can see where there's a lot of them that died, there are some of them that were still look like they're alive in that stool. And I didn't want to mess with them too much because it was just like, I got you out of my system. I don't want to touch you again. So it was, it was so gross. If you're to choose one product to get kind of be that foundational product for you, I highly recommend the detox tea because I know personally I can vouch for it. It's going to help increase your energy levels or level out, level out your insulin and sugar levels. So where you just have that steady energy throughout the day. It also helped curve your appetite. I mean, it definitely gets me to where I don't want to eat on a daily, like keeps me from eating the bad foods on a daily basis, helps to keep me on track. And I have to always remind myself and force myself to eat foods um, consistently throughout the day just because the detox tea really does help curb your appetite like that. Um, it, it does so many different things for the body. It's hard for me to put it into words on everything that it does. But it, in my opinion, it's that foundational product that you need to be using on a daily basis, especially if you're first starting a diet or any type of nutritional program. You always need that, that supplement, supplement that's going to help you and help you take your, your body from where it's at now to where it needs to be. 
And there's always one key product that always helps people. In my opinion, I've tried a lot of different things. And my foundational product is and will always be, from this point forward, the detox tea because of what it did for me and what it will continue to do for throughout my life. It allows me to simulate anything else that I eat more efficiently and simulate any other products that I take more efficiently. It helps keep the body energized and, and in line and in tune um, it, whereas a lot of the other products don't do that. You really need that foundational product and the detox tea is going to do that for you.